Hello, and welcome to the Personal Fitness 3 channel. Today I'm just going to go over the equipment that I use to help reach my goals in my getting healthy and fit and staying that way. And the first thing I'd like to show you is my treadmill. Right now, I'm just going to show you in a nutshell. Like, just the equipment right here in a nutshell. But I'm operating back slowly. But, um, it's been real inconvenient for me to go and drive to the gym. So, I decided to get my own home gym. And so, I decided to just pick out some particular equipment that I feel will help me in obtaining my fitness goals. And one of the things I believe is important to have is a treadmill. Uh, this particular one has a space saver design. But this one is by Proform. And usually every treadmill I ever got, I only have about two or three of them, I always get Proform. And this is a, a one that I like. And one of the key things I like about this one in particular, let's see if I can get around this stuff here, is that it has full stride cushioning, if you can see that. And that's good because the whole thing is cushioned that when I walk on it or jog or run, that I'm not killing my knees and my back. Especially when I'm going to be on it for a while. So this one, I'm going to get on it and show you a few things. It has two large cup holders. And it fits almost, in, I mean, I, could, I have a 64 ounce jug, water jug, that I can sit right in there perfectly. Um, it has your pulse meter readers. It has a nice big start and stop button, your safety key, so of course if, if you fall, it just comes right out. Hopefully you don't fall, but you attach that to your clothes. And uh, just pop it back in. When I use it, I just give it to the side because it's a magnet. So you pull it out, put it in there, starts right up. Um, there's a few things on here. It has your one touch incline. You got a zero, two, four, six, up to 10% grade. Um, if you don't want to go at increments of 2, you can do it like 0.5 at a time. That's 0.5 at the beginning of your point, then it'd be 1% upgrade. And I can down to 0. Oh, yeah. It has a odometer button, fan, display. It's got different fitness programs, weight loss, distance programs. If I just want to hit that and have a particular program in there. It has the pulse programs, like, like the custom program, incline programs. So there's several different programs you can use, or you can just do your own thing and just get on here and just walk. Um, you also have your one touch speed. This bad boy goes up to 12 miles per hour, uh, 10 all the way down to like two, sorry, not two or less. Um, and of course, if you want to do it in smaller increments, you got your individual speed control buttons up here, up and down. And so again, it's, you know, it's, uh, Stop on Also, I can put a headphone jack if I want to, or to listen to with my headphones on, or I could, like, let's say if I have my iPod or other music device, I could plug two male, you know, one into the device and one into here, and I could hear it through its two speakers on each side. It has a ledge. I have my tablet up here, so you can see it has a ledge right there that is nice enough to hold my tablet, my 10 inch tablet, 7 inch tablet, my phone, or um, a magazine, or maybe a small book. Um, this is my little tablet. Uh, I have up here sometimes I may use this, or sometimes I'll do something else. So I can watch movies, read books, listen to music, whatever I want to do. So that's, that's very convenient. Um, this is just one page I just want to show real quick. A tablet on this particular uh, home screen. I have um, a few apps that I, I use and keep on here and I'm gonna share it with you real quick. I have the Iron Man magazine, some extras I got Run Keeper, Map My Fitness, Edmundo, Proper Weight, Eye Pharmacy, Cardio Trainer, Instant Heart Rate Monitor, Big Oven, Grocery Tracker, all receipts. Oops. Uh, fat calculator. Um, which one is this? Open table. I'll turn it down. Let me just see if I could adjust this so you can see a little better. There you go. Uh, open table, grocery smart, specialty produce bodybuilding.com, JFit, MyFitnessPal, and Fujikate. And these particular three over here I use constantly. JFit is my workout program. Where I can just, you know, let's say I can name it arms and when I click on it, it shows me, you know, the different routines that I've selected of what I want to do that day. And like I was saying in another video, you could either write it down to help you, you know, at least get things started, maybe to the point where you may not need to refer back to it or you can. 
And then you can just go and work out and do what you want to do. But I like to kind of have it there so I know that I'm hitting specific exercises in a specific way. You know, and I can also, with that, I can keep track of what weight I'm using, how many reps and how many sets, and the time it takes, you know, me to do those exercises and the rest periods and just things like that. And this is a very good program, but it's JFit. They have the free version. And if you want more, you can buy it. But so far, the free version is working for me. My Fitness Pal is also good. It's an excellent program in documenting what you eat, you know, and all the nutritional information from those foods. Um, and you can scan food, like, you know, anything that's got a barcode on it, you scan it, and more than likely it's going to have it and put it in it automatically for you. Or you can enter it in manually. And it's so customizable, but those two programs I definitely recommend you check out. And of course, Fuji Cake as well is also, and I like about Fuji Cake because it sort of gives you education on different foods. Like you might have a, a box of your favorite rice or some kind of cereal or something like that. And if you scan it, it'll check it with its database and it'll give a score. Like it makes say A, B, C, or D. And it gives you reasons why it gives you those scores. You know, and a lot of things that I thought were great for me turned out to be not so great. But the cool thing about it is that it not only shows you the, those particular things in the ratings, you know, information about it in ratings, it also gives you alternatives. You know, so if you have a particular type of cereal and may not have a high rating, you can look at alternatives and it'll show you other cereals that might be comparable to it, but just as healthy. All right, let me just remove this here real quick. This is my Swiss tablet. I just want to show you behind it. Oh, this is a TV. That's another cool feature. This. So if I don't have my tablet or phone or book or magazine, I already have cable hooked up. It has a little cable down here. That I don't know if you can right now, but it's plugged in. I turn it out to be Nelson, and that, I lost you know, I can watch TV, pounds, change the channel, you know, whatever my cable. This is brand yeah, new, not a huge number of minutes to go around, it's and you really love loud. this because the fiber is so, I mean, it's and natural and very little. Turn it off. So, and then the, of course the treadmill is still on, but what I like about the panel is it just gives you a, a good uh, display of different things. I mean, for instance, your time, um, your calories, it burned, your incline level, your, how the distance, how far you've walked your speed, which also alternates between speed and pace. Uh, this just kind of gives you an idea of um, your progress as you're, you know, you're moving on the treadmill. Um, and, and this lights up at the bottom. Let me see if I can get it to light up. I'm going to put it on two. See how that lit up? Stop. Okay. Make sure I don't fall. Okay. Two. <clears throat> and this is a workout intensity. You know, as I go up higher, another bar will come up at another color like that. If I go, you know, even higher, it just lights up all across and it's like red. And if you like going crazy, so I put it on like 8, 9, or 10, or 12 speed, that bar will light up. So I'm going to stop it. It stops real good. So that's the treadmill. Let's see my tablet back over here. Okay. Let's back up again. Okay, so we can see everything. All right, that's the treadmill. That's like a very important item to have, in my opinion, you know, to do the cardio workouts. Uh, here's a couple of like dumbbells. Dumbbells, I believe, are very important. Oh, let me show this one feature about this thing I like, the space saver design. So I can take this bad boy and just lift it up. And it locks in place. Now it's up right. So now I've got space, see? I get in my little closet. Yeah. All right. Now, forgive me about some of the stuff in, along the wall. I gotta get rid of that stuff out of here because it don't belong here. But it's just there temporarily. But this is my dip station. A friend of mine actually gave this to me. And you can do your pull ups, your chin ups, you can do your dips. Um, you can sit back on here and bring your legs up for ab work. Um, you can do push ups. You can do things where you do uh, the old fashioned sit ups, like, you know, when you have that. Sort of to keep your feet, or if you turn around, and I usually hold it to do my leg raises. But uh, this is another tool that helps you. This is because this is just pure body strength, you know, freehand exercise, and you can get a lot done. Right here, if you notice, this is my you know, perfect abs. I had this for a while by Guthy Ranker Fitness, and um, this I use this to do my crunches. And I had liked this one, it came out because it was adjustable. So you can take this and you can adjust that bar that you put your hands on when you're doing those crunches to make the intensity either you know, higher or lower. 
So that's a good thing to have. Or you can just do crutches without it. It's not really necessary. But it, at that time, it's just something that I wanted to get and I got it. So this is just hanging up here. This time, not part of it. This bad boy. I didn't know if I really wanted this or not, but my wife said, yeah, I'm going to hook you up with an ab lounge. So she waited for this particular one that came out. This was the Ab Lounge XL. And I like this because it helps me to do my um, abs, ab, work out my abs. But it's like it works them all at the same time because my legs are coming up to my chest. And, you know, as I'm coming in, my like my legs meet my knees, so to speak, and then I back out. And you get a good stretch because it flexes all the way back. Um, but uh, that's that. Oh, if you notice that thing, I forgot I had that bad boy. That's a ab roller. That bad boy. Whew. You got to really be strong to use that bad boy. I mean, you just have to have a good core. But it helps you if you're really trying to strengthen that core. And that bad boy, it don't cost you nothing. So if you ever want to try it, try it. I got a couple. I actually got a a punching bag and a speed bag outside so those are my gloves right there but um this is my bench um it's just real simple it's got you know, thing for your leg extensions and you know hamstring um there's a little attachment here for like i guess preacher curls i got an adjustable and removable uh little uh preacher curl pad thing so that I can uh, uh, go up and down as high as I need or I can just remove it all together. I really like these pads because they're nice and thick and cushiony. So I'm not hurting myself when I'm trying to lift uh, heavier weights. But uh, this is a bench that I got from Pivot Sports. It's by Marcy. And it's a nice bench. Easy to put together. It looks like it could hold some really heavy weight. I'm not trying to get really heavy. I'm, you know, but um, uh, yeah, so this is a good bench compared to the one I had before. It was a little more flimsier, but this one is really solid. Yeah, don't laugh at me. I still got the concrete weights. They still work. <laughs> but um, must have uh, easy curl bar for different exercises. Do you might need that different kind of grip and angle of your wrist. Um, what else about this? One of the things, in, in, in and I think it's good to get in a bench. Is a good bench is a bench that now this one is cool because this is not attached to it so I can slide it move it out the way do whatever I want adjust it this right here it comes in all these positions this is your basic flat bench right here but I could drop it down just lift that up and I could have it in a decline position so if I want to do decline workouts you know workouts to work out like my lower pecs or something it helps me with my, you know, decline. So that position, your flat bench, bench position, your 45 degree angle, and your straight up 90 degree. So that's that's something that I think is important to have in a bench is a seat that adjusts to those different angles, so you can hit different muscle parts with different angles and have more effective techniques. So I'll let that down. I like these little things on the side because as you can see, they hold, you know, I can hold my extra plates. See, it's got some plates here, it's got them just hanging on there. And instead of just, you know, sort of laying all over the place. This is a bar I've had for years. It's not like an Olympic bar, but I got Olympic bar attachments under there. And uh, so if I want to use Olympic plates, but I usually just use these, these little ones with little holes. But, um, and yeah, I don't know. I've had it so long, I just, with stuck tape on it, they could just help me a little better, you know, with grip or something. But, um, oh, and I love this right here. Uh, this is a must. Some benches don't include this, but I can do my tricep uh, extensions and uh, press downs and, and back exercises and things like that with it, you know, and I, and I could easily change out my different um, grips and, and handles and stuff like that. You know, this is a lot basically for my triceps. And I got my bars down here. So I got a like, long straight one. And it's one I don't can see it. <clears throat> but it's down in this curve. You know, so I use those. And I had to re-rig this because it came with a thing on here that was, sorry about that. It came with a thing that was like square. And as it went up and down, it just kind of scratched it. So to me, that was a poor design. I don't know if it's because it was square. It probably would have been if it was round, but it's just it was square. It was scratching, so I removed that. And all I did was I let the pulley still go the way it went. And then when you come down, um, I had this little bar that had a like a little hook on it. So I attached that hook to the cable. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a hook down in there. 
and adjust the cable. And I just carefully, you know, for now, just slide these on and off and use a clip or something to keep them on there. So I can, now it just, now when I do it, it just goes up and down with these. Then I try to do it with one hand. <laughs> That's that. Over in this corner, I got an encumbered bicycle. Now this bad boy is good, especially for those that want to, you know, maybe have back issues or something like that. You can sit and, and, and sort of be comfortable while doing your you know, biking. This one also has like a little display. Um, it has different uh, certified personal trainer programs on here. And you can hook it up to ifit.com and do some other things with it. You know, your programming starts to like your resistance levels. Um, also, pulse meter on here and grips. I just rigged this up here. It had a little plastic thing, but I made something a little bigger so it could uh, hold up like a bigger book or magazine or something like that on there. But this is also by Pro Form. And it's a good program. Also has a fan. That's another thing I forgot to mention on that over there. It has a fan, you know, different speeds, high, low, medium. And this one also has a fan on here. And this is actually battery operated. I was trying to see if I could rig it or figure out how I could use maybe an AC adapter. So I keep changing batteries because it lasts a while, but if you use it a lot, then you have to keep changing. But this awesome little bike is real comfortable. And a cool adjustable seat. You just lift the handle and you can slide it anywhere. I mean, it's not like no lock position. It's just you slide it where you want to and you just pull it up to lock it. But it's not like grooves where you have to set it a certain, you know, like here, here, there. You just go, you can go as tiny as increments as you want until you're comfortable. And my last device is my little supplement stack. I shared that in the other video. And over here, my last thing. Some things I got in here, I need to get rid of. But for now, everything, like I said, fits in here. Now, this thing, I don't know if I think when I first saw it, I probably laughed at it, but this bad boy helps. This thing, I think, in my opinion, works good if you use it right. You know, it's the Sprint Masters, the Gazelle by Tony Little. I'm sure you guys heard of Tony Little. And, you know, it's got your water, water bottle holder. It's got your grips also these things all got them now but you can know, check your pulse um, but this thing to me I like it because you get a good total body workout um, and in the cardio and it's like a good mix of cardio and strength maybe more cardio than strength but I mean oh my goodness maybe 30% strength 70% cardio you want to look at it like that but this thing really works because you can decide whether you want to use more of your legs more of your arms or a little bit of both and uh, I really get a good workout and what I try to do is I try to like if I'm gonna do a, just a straight-up cardio workout for about an hour or more or even less than that if I want I get on here and I, and I work out for about 15 minutes or more and then once I'm done with that I go to the treadmill and once I finish the treadmill I go to the bike and that's just a good cardio workout but that's everything in a nutshell. The Gazelle Sprint Master Pro Form and Covered Bike. I think this particular Pro Form, let me see. I don't think they sell these anymore. They probably have a lot one's a lot better now. But this one is a Pro Form XP90. It's this clear view backlit console. Um, I got this weight bench with the sports. But it has been a few years now, so I'm not sure they will sell this one of the same kind. MCBAAOM, whatever that means, but that's on the side of it. Uh, excellent bench, excellent. Um, my Ab Lounge XL, my dip station, and you know, there's a thing on here. I don't know what it was on here. I was trying to figure out who was it by, but all it says right there is fitness gear. So I don't know if that's who it is or what, but it's an excellent station. And my treadmill by Perform. And there you have it. All right. Thank you guys, and thanks for watching. Bye bye. Oh yeah, you might have seen this hanging on the barbell, but uh, this bad boy right here, belly burner. You might want to check it out. I use this when I do my cardio, and I'm not hundred percent sure if it works, but you wrap it around your waist, and it's supposed to sort of help, you know, heat that area up or keep that area, you know, heated to maybe help maybe help you know burn some of that extra fat in there but 
Like I said, I'm not actually that sure, but it was only $19. I think I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond. And uh, any little thing to help. And like I said, it, it didn't cause an arm or leg, so it wouldn't hurt to try. But that's just something, you know, if you're just wondering if you saw it and wondering what that is. But it says thebellyburner.com, so if you just want to look it up. All right. Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah. I forgot this last item that I use. And it's a jump rope. I don't even really know what it is about. It's just you know, Walmart or Sports Authority or something like that. Right, just a nice little jump rope. Haven't used it much, but I'm going to be using it. And uh, this right here, I, mean, I used to, honestly, I used to laugh at these elastic bands. But these are like a heavy duty band. And I think they're by Gold's Gym. Yeah, these bad boys, they work and they help out, especially when I have something, some kind of exercise that you're using that keeps tension on the muscle, especially like when I'm working my arms, you know, when I'm pretty much burnt out and I'm at the end of my workout, then I use those to get the last little bit of juice out. And um, it's just cool because they keep the tension on there and you don't have to worry about these breaking or tearing up and you know, you get good resistance from it. It's just a matter of where you place this. You can place it under your feet or place it somewhere else and depending on how far away from that placement determines how much resistance you're getting but these are excellent excellent excellent, excellent. all right thanks again for watching